Alright, so boom, we finna start this shit up, man. Alright, so uh appreciate you. This is Jay Green, Green Room TV, Green Room Uncut. And now we back for the second time with my boy 4800 Smoke, man. So this is some uncut shit. Uh I ain't gonna play with it. I'ma just get straight to these topics because that's what y'all wanna hear. But before I do that, I'm gonna ask you smoke. Give some people some breakdown who you are and what you do. Man, look, I'm 4800 Smoke. 4800 Smoke TV, 4800 Smoke, the comedian, you know what I'm saying? I'm a comedian, an artist. I started off as doing music, but yeah, SoundCloud wasn't doing shit. Then I realized that, yeah, nigga, you ugly. Ugly niggas just so happen to be funny. <laughs> you feel me? So shit, got my ass on motherfucking Instagram, started going stupid on that. So I'm low key a hood Instagram sensation. Nah, for it's sure. You've been doing your thing on Instagram for a minute. For a nice minute. Yeah, I interviewed you uh, twice, and I, I I think your personality is something unique and infectious. So. Nah, shit show. So I gotta run these topics by you, cause last one with that Remy Ma shit, I think you hit the you hit that shit on the on the head, man. Yeah, Facts. yeah, man. She did that wrong. <laughs> First topic, man. Green one cut. We smoking good good green in this in the green room now. Nah, shit show. You know what I'm saying? It's the only way to go. Only way to go. First topic, man. I hope you you know you well abreast with what's going on. But the first topic is Drake versus Joe Budden. Drake versus who? <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Drake versus who? <laughs> man, nigga, your old ass to fuck off, so bro. First to fuck off. What you saying, bro, nigga? You ain't been nobody since pump, pump, pump it up, nigga. No, and how old that shit was? Seventeen sixty three. Get your weird ass the fuck on, bro. Drake can really go somewhere and disappear for like four, five, seven, eight years and come back and still be Drake. Come on, man. It don't matter what the fuck this man got going. Y'all act like they try. They want Drake to be so gangster, bro. Drake ain't no fucking gangster. He a lovey ass. I better find your loving. <laughs> I better find your heart. You feel me? Come on, man. This is Drake. They always gonna forever Drake? say. They always gonna forever say Drake, uh, you know what I'm saying, is that type of dude. You know what I'm saying? Drake is a lovey ass. Okay, boom. Will, I was just talking about this shit earlier. If you seen T.I. come out with a love song, would you look at T.I. the same? I'm talking about in the rain, kicking water, uh, Usher dance move, oh, good is gonna be the T.I. But T.I. done a lot of shit that I... But can you see T.I. doing that? I get your point. I couldn't Can see. you see Drake doing that? Absolutely. But can you see <laughs> T.I. doing it? Now, if you see T.I. doing it, would you feel some kind of way like, nigga, what the fuck? It would be, yeah, it would be a compromise. Okay, now, if you see Drake doing it, you're going to be like, it's Drake. It's nigga, it's Drake, nigga. You're Joe who? What the fuck you and what the fuck you got to say? But get your old ass back. You got a podcast, bro. You're doing Nathan with yourself, bro. You've been doing all this shit. You was, you was very big. Now you got a podcast that I just found out about yesterday. All right, but look, <laughs> look, you just found out. But statistically, Joe Buttons over the last decade has probably been the biggest hip hop podcast ever. <laughs> he ain't doing bigger than Vlad snitching ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. But P Vlad is not a podcast. Vlad is a podcast. Vlad is an interview platform. Same shit, right? Yeah, kind of in a way, but nah. He ain't look. <laughs> Check no, me out. Joe Button really kind of <coughs> kind of opened the door for a hip hop podcast. Probably. Yeah. And guess what? He's still at that door. Yeah. Damn. Cause uh uh, what's that fat lame ass nigga name? Um, academics. Mm hmm I hear about him way more. I hear about Joe Button. Facts. He definitely, they live in the same area too. They like from the same area. Come on, man. Joe who? Yeah. Come on, man. Why even open your mouth to say anything about Drake? Man. Drake? Okay, so look, I, I recently, while scrolling through um, Instagram, I seen a blogger went to the streets of New York and they asked, they said, hey, I'll give you $50, $20 if you can name three Joe Budden songs. You go on it, man. Pump it up. I can name three of them. Pump, pump, pump it up. <laughs> <laughs> pump it up. 
<laughs> but look, all right, we gonna all right. So look, Drake is an elite level rapper. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna go through the whole dynamic. So basically, Joe Buttons critiqued Drake out. What he's been doing, he critiques Drake harder <coughs> than he critiques anybody else. Right? In a way, supposedly they kind of make the same lovey music, except Joe is the dirty version and Drake is the clean version. Meaning Drake, you know what I'm saying? Is so Drake gets, you know, criticized and I'm about to read a little bit of the response. You know what I'm saying? Joe, a champagne poppy says to Joe Button, you have failed at music. You left it behind to do what you're doing now in this clip. Because this is what actually pays your bills. For any artist watching this, just remember, you are watching a failure. Give their opinion on his idea of the recipe of success. Damn. A quitter. Their opinion on how to achieve longevity. You switch careers because things, <laughs> things that pop into your brain <laughs> had you broke, living check to check. And raps that you write had only 450 men showing up to your shows in Dusty and Nietzsche jeans to screw up their faces. Dusty and Nietzsche jeans? To Mew Music 29. Artists, <laughs> artists that's doing doing that they feel it's right don't let these opinions affect your mindset and the fact that this guy is a poster child of frustration and surrendering you retired and we never hung up your jersey we don't even remember your number we know you for doing this podcasting <laughs> you withdrew from rap not to cause <laughs> Okay, okay. Not cause, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Drake. Oh, but look, but look, it's hard because, but see, here, I, I'm going to read it through. I'm going to read it through because the, the part that people, because he killing them. He killing them. But I'm going to read it through because towards the end is what people kind of come against Drake. They say, I, <laughs> you withdrew from rap not because you accomplished all you need to do. Oh. It's because you wasn't working. <laughs> it, <laughs> Just let me read. Just let me smoke that shit. Let me read it. it uh, you were drew. You were drew from rap not because you accomplished everything you needed to do, but it's because it wasn't working for you. I never want anybody in this generation to think that the whole everybody's entitled to their opinion thing is real. This man projecting his own self hate and the fact I did. I did what I did and continue to do everything he wanted to do for himself. If you need it, put it in simpler terms. I own a seven sixty seven jet. He owns a modest house in the 973 area code and flies first class on special occasions. All right, now let's talk about it. Let's talk about because that's the main thing about the thing that everybody's talking about. Bro wrote a paragraph. Look at it. Chewing bro ass the fuck. Uh, bro, that is a movie script. Did Drake go too hard though? Hell no. Okay. He, 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 he probably he probably went a little bit not hard enough. Mm. He probably I don't know that that message a little bit too long though. But damn, champagne. So wrong. So bad. are the old podcast niggas like out of line? You say the old podcast? Niggas? Yeah, cause I I kind of noticed you kind of have a thing against old niggas. No, I ain't got a thing. I'm old. <laughs> shit. How old are you? I'm 31. I'm an old nigga. But nah, bro, no bullshit, bro. I ain't got nothing against old niggas, bro. But the thing is, bro, first off, who are you? Last thing I remember Joe Budden from doing is uh, 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 that interview with Migos and uh, what's the name them had walked out on that, on his ass. Ain't, ain't, that, ain't that him? Mm -hmm. bro. Do it look like I'm left off bad and bullshit? Exactly, bro. Like, yeah, Joe Button. So that's Joe the only Button, way Joe he Button, getting his clout any fucking way. Joe Buttons do he do gotta like he gotta he not a connected with the culture right now. Right now, he's stuck in that goddamn KRS One ass <laughs> shit. Bro. You went back like, too far. <laughs> nah, no, I didn't. He want a nigga to be up on that crisscross ass shit, bro. Like, <laughs> your weird ass song, bro. Nigga, it is a whole new era, bro. I don't know, but I seen that he had said something about uh that uh for the dog shit. For the dog, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Album. That's what he was critiquing. 
And that's why Drake came at him. Cause for what though? What you critiquing that for, bro? Well, he does out. Look, you. Pete, Pete. Casanet got more money than Joe Button. But see, that's what everybody's saying. Does money make you great in this hip hop shit? Money make a uh, old ass nigga call young niggas big bro. Mm. Say that again. Money make old ass niggas call young niggas big bro. Damn. Damn. But you know, Joe Button has had a like a thing against Drake. Cause you know they had a little beef. You wanna know why? Cause who the fuck are you, nigga? This young ass nigga about to come. That's just like up in a trap. This young ass nigga think he about to come take over my hood. This young ass nigga think he about to come over and take over the rap game. Yes, I am. Old ass nigga. Get your weird ass the fuck on, bro. Retire. Go do your thing, bro. Do something. Go go play golf, nigga. Do something with yourself, bro. Drake, now I'm going to pop a lot of them. Y'all think he hit to here? Why? Hit what? To here. Drake hit everybody, bro. I Why? feel like Drake hit everybody. Joe Button, old girl. You think he <laughs> might have hit her? Why he feels some kind of way? Yeah. Never it's know. a possibility. You never know. Probably hit his daughter too. How old his daughter is. <laughs> <laughs> he probably heard. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're gonna keep it moving though. Uh, on that topic, I'm gonna say, all right, so, okay, with the rap shit, the age is a big thing, you think? Well, rapping is age? Like, no, like at a certain because, level, you know? No, because if Two age. Chains was to come out with a goddamn song today, I'm jamming that bitch. Ain't Two Chains like 50 years old? <laughs> That's my nigga with his old ass. Oh, no, no, no.